Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the featherweight bout in Risen between Clever Koki Esps versus Yutaka Saito. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going average confidence um, Clever Koki Esps to beat Yutaka Saito. Uh, and yeah, I, I really, the confidence is checking based off his last two performances. Really his last performance, not his performance last two, but really his last full performance. We lost like a 41-year-old, I guess, journeyman. Been around the ranks, not even fighting since 2003. That was like, not a good look. But I think he should beat um, Utaka Saito. I don't feel like it's too much mystery to Saito. I think Saito's more so like a grappler. You know, he's a well-rounded enough fighter, but I think more so grappling. I think this is simple enough. I think clever Koki S is just the better grappler. But hey, you can say that about the last fight. But at least last fight, he went with it with like a, kind of a, a question mark, long-term journeyman. I mean, long-term fighter but yeah I think um clever should have someone I think and also it's, it's not like um you talk a side was coming off the best moment I didn't come on like uh, several losses it hasn't been looking good and it hasn't been fighting stellar competition either versus like um uh clever Koki's s last opponent was actually you know having a late you know very very late resurgence of sorts so it's like it's not like he's dealing with a guy coming with great momentum coming with a guy with having negative traction and he also is the clearly the better fighter I think this one um, is going to be a good, um, I guess, bounce back fight for Clever Koki S. I think he's going to be able to, you know, have the type of fight he wants. I think he'll be the better striker. I think he's the better grappler. I think he's the better overall fighter. And I think he will do all his part. I think he'll mix in the striking and drag to the mat, you know, really look to wear and, you know, fill out and break down Yutaku's, Yutaka Saito throughout the first round. Then the second round, like, really start to take advantage of Intel and the reads he got in the first round to put a stamp on his fight in the second round and really start to pepper him up on the ground and then set up his submissions or set up his submission and get him out of there in the second round. So in this one, I got Clever Koki S via second round submission. 